Today we're going to go over the book Elvis Vegas 69 by Ken Sharp. Let's go ahead and open it up and take a peek inside. It's a little glossy. Some of the pages are going to have some glare. I apologize for that. Uh, the book opens up with what they call the cast right here, which is all of the contributors to the book, which are musicians, bandmates, friends, family, employees that were uh, around Elvis at the time. And the way the book is put together is that they, they just... Uh, they tell the story of what was going on at the time uh, throughout the book. It's a very interesting read. The uh, The book starts off after that with uh, what was going on just prior to Elvis's opening in 69. Um, they talk about the movies, of course, and the 68 Singer Special. Um, some vintage advertisements for the special, which are interesting to see. And uh, a lot of them been seen, have been seen before, but it's nice to have them all in one spot. Um, and uh, extensive coverage of the 68 special newspapers, articles, and then the uh, opening of the or the building of the International, and uh, they have some photo shoot fo uh, pictures from the the uh, signing, which is just a photo op. It's not the actual signing, um, as I have been informed. Um, so there's uh, some of the International. And then, again, these are just stories, people talking about their time at the time. This is called Putting Together the Band. It talks about how the band was obviously assembled. Um, that's a picture from 1970, obviously, but that's just used as a reference point, I believe. Uh, letters from the International to Parker. To the fans, fan clubs. Information about opening dates, what's all happening in preparation for the opening. There's a uh, concert uh, book that you could buy, and I have one right here. Mine's defaced, so it's worth nothing. I had the band sign it. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is a little shot of the inside. Continues. There's a, this is a shot of the, uh, the international sign on the back side. I believe that's on Joe W. Brown Drive. So there is a golf course right there, and that, that looks like it is on the back side on Joe W. Brown the international showroom, the menu, and then uh, it goes into the pictures from, uh, let's see, opening in 69, here we go. And uh, there's a lot of glare in here, I apologize again. There's a lot of un uh, unpublished, to, or unseen at least to my eyes, uh, photos in this book. That's an old one, but um, the the quality is is actually really really well done, really good. Um, some of the pictures are blurry or small, but that's not, of course, the uh, publisher's fault. But um, it's it's very informative and a lot of interesting photos. I was very happy to pop this book open and take a look at it. There's some press conference photos. A couple I'd never seen before. Of course, those aren't uh, the best shots, but it's cool to see more photos from the press conference than we've seen before. Of course, a lot of these are very well circulated, but it, again, nice to have them all in one spot and in a nice collection. This is uh, newspaper articles. Elvis draws 101,500 people in a four-week run. A lot of uh, letters back and forth between Parker and the hotel. And then they talk about the uh, the album that was released. That was in person, the International. And then they go on to what happened after that. They talk about uh, that's the way it is, some of the other tours after that. They keep that kind of short. Then a retrospective. And that's all, folks. So there you go. There's a quick look at 
Elvis 69 by Ken Sharp. There you go.